Hi, Alexi. Roberto, how you doing, man? Very good. Welcome to Caracas. Thanks, man. Well, the Avila was waiting for me. Yes, thank you. Nice weather all year round. What? 22 20? degrees? All year. Celsius. Yes, it's incredible. Well, how's your English? Uh, getting better every day. Thanks. What about yours? Mom, not as good as yours, but let's do it. We just had a conversation about interesting things. And we decided to try to give it a try in English. Is it good? Sounds great, man. Okay. I want you to please tell me something about this because you are the first person that I heard to talk about that, that country. beautiful shirt, t shirt yes, that you have. It's a gift. Uh, Give me yes, this shirt. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I would like you, I mean, tell me what's big country. And a lot of people that see this shirt ask me, what's that? So I want to be sure to give the correct answer. Well, before talking about this country, I, I should say something about Metaverse. Okay, Metaverse is a place where you can place forever uh, everything you do in real life, okay? Making it digital, okay? And after that, you can be with the, the proper of the, everything you do there is yours, okay? Forever. So it changed the rules of we are used to, to see the things and the use of smart contracts also because everyone can be an NFT now, you know, it's about uh, just with the fever about the NFTs and the metaverse, but now it's, it's the chance now the people that, that can get involved in this can earn money because the models of business come on. You know that the, the money now is not the same and the way you earn it is not also the same. Okay, so we're doing things like play and earn, like do and earn. Now we are trying things also in the metaverse name like build and earn. Okay, and by by the way, say I, I want to say hi to Ray Lu, the CEO. Uh, congratulations because we won two days ago the second slot of the third batch of the Kusama Para chains. That is something really awesome. Interesting. Well, people, well, you know that I'm a lawyer. And studying property, property rights is really interesting because we have like the, you know, the, the physical property, intellectual property. And we may say that we have digital property, but at the end, property is property. It's what is yours and you have to protect it. And you have to protect it either in the physical world, but also in digital world. And this is great because you're going to have another dimension of you, of yourself. This, this, this digital dimension, digital way of interchanging, you know, socializing and, and, so, and so on. What's happening on here? So we're being hijacked. Yes, well, you know, aliens are everywhere. I work with them, by the way. I work with a lot of aliens. All right. Yeah. A couple of weeks ago, we had this news about Facebook is not going to be I Facebook. know that guy. You know that guy? Yeah. Me? <laughs> or Zuckerberg? Yeah, the other one. <laughs> well, a couple of weeks ago, we heard this news that Facebook is not going to be the same Facebook anymore. It's going to be something beyond that. Meta. Yeah. Referring to Meta. He was talking about Facebook INC. Okay, it's not, not the Facebook, that not, not the social network that they use. Of course, and he realized that there is a, a huge opportunity now to get involved in the future, by the way, this is the end of the things that we're doing in the Web3 is the metaverse. It's the last thing. I'm going to stop you right there. Web3. What do you mean with Web3 and all this meta world and meta dimension of the, the life, our lives? Well, the Web3 is also like we, we are in a, right now in the fourth industrial revolution and also means that the Web2 that was the, the e-commerce and thing that we use like Alibaba and a lot of things that worked still work, of course. And the Web3 is the exchange of information around cryptography. Okay, so it's in a place that is is not using like, like we regular use. Uh, we're used to uh, the servers. There are not servers in here. We are we a are serverless society yes. i like that idea yes we are a serverless society now because now we are nodes nodes that are created for solving a specific problems that they are part of process like for example in kusama and 
Polkadot ecosystem. They are collators, they are fishermen, they are para threads, they are para chains. They can be nominators and validators, and they can be helping all the ecosystem just for being part. You got me lost. Well, see, them. you got me lost there because my, you know, let's say my my education is not uh, technological like yours. But more or less, what I can understand is that this Web3 idea and context is uh, beyond. Is it, uh, we can assert that it's a, an enhanced part of Web, of the Internet. It can't be in, interrupted. It can't be uh, hijacked, it will be, yeah. the word. Yeah, well, uh, of course, that, that, that's, that's, the, that's the freedom that we have there. We have very much responsibilities, of course. Yes, ethics is the first thing that we're given. By the way, we were about to get a, a, a treasury uh, call. You know, we are, we're making an LMS, it's a uh, learning management system to make things with a smart contract about the Gusama and Polka the system. Okay. When I see that picture over there, that we have two soccer birds there, so that oh. means that you can have one was not enough. Well, and we have uh, that, that's, that's what's multiple question. ones. So we can have one was not enough. Difficult, different dimensions and various dimensions. We can multiples myself. And that means that we can, you know, live in different worlds, different universes. So in this universe, what scares me the most is that the control, it will be from one company. It's not anymore on a specific state a specific ruler or dictatorship. Now we have a specific companies that can rule and they can have access to my information. I would like to know more or less with uh, country, uh, with country, how on Web3, how can this be, you know, protected more than, you know, having all my information in one specific server. And that server, of course, belongs to a particular company. Okay, first, uh, in, in, like like we said before, it's not servers; it's nodes that we're they're just they they just there to to get uh, the, the the upgrade of what what's going on between the net, okay, between the, the the main net, and this of course gives you the opportunity to understand what uh, is going on inside. It's going is everything that happens there happens forever, okay. So when you create something. Uh, is there forever, so you can use everything you got to uh, to, to take advantage of and that. Do you think that's good or that's bad? Because, well, and I want to make clear on this idea. I'm a lawyer. I'm studying constitutional law, and the idea of constitution is controlling the power. Okay, and we have constitutional rights, and that right is privacy too, and. In that idea, we have this uh, right to, of, of forgiveness of okay of being forgot mm -hmm. for, yeah. forgive uh, forgot some some some, some news some five years in the past yes okay. something that happened in the past I have the right to you know keep it or forget it or whatever if something is written down forever it would it couldn't be all the time a good idea so. How can we deal with that? I mean, I wouldn't like that what I think, what I write right now remains forever and ever. Well, first you're creating new things now. So in your country and you, in your piece, you can create the story you want to tell to anyone. So maybe we, we cannot begin with that mistakes, okay? So you can delete your, your life from the web two and do another one in the web three and now in the metaverse that you can build everything you can imagine you can invite anyone you can imagine and um just taking making citizens of your land now uh we get pioneer is the uh, is the is, is the, the the first big country project over kusama okay and the, the, the token is near we want about we'll cross about 200 and Thousand something to some us. It's about, about one hundred million dollars on crowd loan about two days two days ago. Oh well, yes, now we are in the the first Odyssey. Okay, about the metaverse and where we're going. People to understand what is the Web three experience and how it works. And and th there is something we're gonna make very very soon. I'm really into this idea. 
But of course, as I mentioned it, there are some tensions. There are some things that we have to study further and further. Let's see. I have. I, I have. Other... I have great news, by the way. The first metaverse career, academic career, uh, is is going to get about the people of Bit Country in this, in English. I will help them in English, of, of course. And it's going and, to be digital, or and it's going to be presence? It's going to be digital. I mean, and, uh, and we will bring it into Spanish. I will invite you for sure to be part of it. I'll try okay? to speak it in Spanish. <laughs> help me a little bit in here. What do we have here? Okay. Well, uh, I just show you know what what was the multiverse here. I feel like like like, okay. like the lady in the in the channel, you know, with the web. Okay, the channel. Genesis Genesis protocol is where it all begins. Okay. Now we have the genesis of individual metaverse. That's the creation of big countries for everyone. Okay. Now we have the land formation. Okay. Now uh, we decide. Now in, in this first stage, we we want about we want to be about that ecosystem also soon. Maybe uh, next year when when the, these slots can be available. But so far we can make also make world activities. And the growth of metaverse, of course, and the metaverse mass adoption. Do we have here the year, more or less? No. You know, in this, uh, for for a, for a long time, I'm, I've seen that the the real projects, okay, and hard projects to make because do you think this thing about the metaverse is very hard. So that's why we are invite a lot of people. 3D designers, architects, and things that are involved in this because we need a lot of help. I have, the, the help is going to be paid, of course. I have a question besides this conversation. I mean, do you think that this was possible at this moment without the pandemic, COVID-19? Because COVID-19 made us, you know, rush in many projects. Do you think that when we are right now here, was possible without the COVID or this helped it out incredibly like I feel it did. Definitely people now is more connected with the internet and it's more connected through the internet now. So yes, uh, I think uh, you, you, now uh, mass adoption is gonna be faster that, that, that we think. People is realizing that uh, universities and technologicals, maybe the, the, you know, the, the regular ones, are not that the uh, given information so uh, uh, accurate like now people that is involved very involved in this like governments making decisions uh, about you know people who make decisions about making laws that they have no even an idea or clue about what they're doing. This little picture. I love that. I love that. My my daughter Isabella play Minecraft and Minecraft is going now to the metaverse, right? So. A kid created uh, in this uh, game spirit. Do you think it's going to be easier for them to to assume this metaverse and all this? Yes, of course. They're already doing it. You know, the gaming industry, they are the more prepared industry to be inside all what we're doing because it's all tokenized. So if you have your, end, your system tokenized, it's better. Now you have to do it over blockchain. That's the deal. And of course, they're going to be paid by the native token that is growing inside, inside the metaverse for doing the same thing they do in, in the Minecraft, in the old is Minecraft. It, is, it, is it possible to know how many kids, how many people it's playing Minecraft? Yes, of course. It's, 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 it, everyone knows about I mean, all, all the statistics. So millions and millions. Yes, of course. So that means that probably Minecraft has this potential citizens the users citizens because it will be a citizen of a, of a country of, of course no, i'm, I'm, of I'm course. talking about the idea of citizenship instead of client or customers without any doubt this big uh and good projects of course you got, got the you know the first touch like okay yes they have the people the community is going to be grow but there's going to be a lot of opportunities for everyone for, to, to, to do myself, a new I'm not, community i'm not i'm not really into the gaming and stuff or or this. I knew that this uh, game was called Second Life, that you can have, you know, your friends on Second Life. You can have your, you know, social activities on Second Life. And you can go, you can go to parties, you can go to concerts, you can go to uh, games, by the way, uh, how to be our, be our in situ that we are working here in Venezuela. 
here in Venezuela, we are making something very cool with VR in situ also to make the VR virtual reality thing a deal. And we're going to make very good uh, announcement very, sport, very soon. Interesting, interesting. But there are some risks. I like always. I like that idea. I remember the first time a couple of weeks ago that I listened to this expression, the, the internet immersion experience. So you don't see any more internet like something out of you, but you're immersing into the world of internet. And that has some risks. And one of the risks, um, see that this was a couple, well, a couple, no, some years ago that this kid stopped another one because he stole his uh, sword. So uh, more or less the news says that this kid went to the police and to make a complaint that, you know, um, well, how can you make here to file a complaint because some digital good was stolen? So we have these uh, challenges in law and law thinking more than the law has that we, we think about the law, but our way to understand law. And we have this idea of law has something out of you know, our physical. And right now we have another idea in the digital world. Tell us a little bit about the risks of metaverse in this sense. Well, uh, actually, there was was an, an incredible uh, end for you know for the for the gamer. Of course, people got the value. That, that that's one of the things. The value, the value is the is the thing that we give you know to ourselves or a mass about. Uh, what, what we need, what, what we think uh, it costs, you know, that's the value. And this sword was very important for this kid, okay? And maybe well, we, we don't underst understand that, maybe we never do. But uh, in Metaverse, I'm sure it's gonna, it's gonna happen things like that, okay? We're waiting, like, this is going to happen in, in some places that I'm pretty sure that will be able to that this it's not, not it's not about bad yeah everyone's going to choose what's going on in their own metaverse that's something amazing you okay. told me that you don't speak very well english we have more time talking here in english than we did in spanish really really wow, that's See, to do gemelos that. digitales digital twins so we, we we kept this idea of digital twins tell me a little bit digital twins the creation of something uh from the real world to the digital world is something that we are experiencing now, now the experience now is, is very it's very it's very fast that is growing that okay because now we can get uh our place or favorite place and get it like in, in, in vr or in 3d Okay, with, three, with 360 yeah. cameras, okay? And see around what's going on, for example, in maintenance. I come from the industry part. Uh, you can see the process in, in every step. You no, know, uh, what about the prediction? What about the, the correctives? And, and, you know, a lot of maintenance you do. And we have a full map about what's going on and it's going to be digital. So artificial intelligence is telling you like what you should do, where if something is wrong, like, the, the, the normal behavior of, of one of the equipment is failing Prediction. and you can, yes, and you, you can also take the decision about what you need to do. Once I was writing about this digital twin stuff and I was thinking, wow, this is like seeing future. Because if you have two realities, the physical reality and the representation of this physical in digital, that you can test it, you can, you know, make some changes to see how it reacts in order then to apply it to the to the real one or the physical, because both are going to be real. One is going to be physical, one is going to be uh, digital. You can a little bit like uh, in, speeding up the digital so you can see what's going on to have what is going to happen in the future. So you are seeing future pro practically. That, that we have, that, that of course, we have sensors to do that, you know, to recognize specific things that we are creating. Like, by the way, like, like, like I create something that was there, but, but, but we are now, for the first time, I haven't told you this, we are now on parachains at the same time with Kusama and Polkadot. There is something that was not happening so far. So, yes, a lot of, I know there are a lot of things that we're talking today 
there are, it's, it's, it's too much information, but we are given some good steps with, with translations. And of course, the metaverse career in Spanish is coming just, just parallel to the English. You get our people, you know, our, our countries in ways of development. I, I thought uh, maybe ways of development or a way of destruction, we, we don't know. And we hopefully can work and help about no yeah. the destruction. Too much information, a lot of information, and coming from two guys that or national language is not English, so probably they're going to make fun of us. You yeah, think? do it, do it, do it. Like we make fun of everything, you know. And you know, in life, you have to dare. In life, we have to dare. You have to challenge things. Yes. You can't wait to speak perfect English to do this. Why should Why should I? Because why I, not we can do it. We have to do this. Yeah. I mean, we have to we have to we have to challenge this. Yeah. So you mean that well Facebook is it, it was a you know a project and they was launched. Libra was launched those probably we'll see what's going on with 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 the meta, but Bitcoin is there. Bitcoin is there, it's gonna be there for sure for everyone that can be because it's a huge place for metaverse. It's not just a metaverse, it's the Kusama and Polkadot metaverse. And these two guys are definitely one of the most incredible interstellar ships, mother ships from the web tree. Alexi, always nice talking to you. This time in English, we have done some conversation previously in Spanish. We'll see if they make fun of us. Let's see. Let's weigh what they what, what they think about this, and we'll see if we have more chats in English. And you can share a meme if you want to, because now what we're doing it to explain, of course, the meme. Yes, come on, Meta. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. Bit country and metaverse is going to rise, and it's going to be it everything. Around. How's the How's the guitar doing? It's very well, by the way, we're making a, a research hub for this in Choroni, and you are invited. And we have now, uh, I have- Come uh, here, come here so we can- Okay, <laughs> I, have, I have now the, the huge responsibility of making some musical uh, events because with the Osama school system, we want to make with rock and roll, okay? And we want to play very good. So. I don't know. So far, we want to we want to make pr good presentations, bigger ones. We have green light from Treasury, so expect chaos. Well, let's rock. Let's rock and roll. Bye bye. See you, man.